Hello, and welcome to this week's installment, or at least today's installment of the Attached Playlist. Today I wanted to talk about emo, because it's one of my favorite genres. And probably the most emo of emo songs is Hidden in Plain View, 20 Below. Look, it says to me, says she put me back together. Her head's down, she waits impatiently. Scared to my heart, torn up and ripped apart. It's ripped apart. Should have known, times you looked at me. Brace yourself, straight from a place in me. You'll see you're everything I want Don't take this from me That. That right now. We're trying something new. I, I thought I might sprinkle in actual parts of the song, not just my singing. But that notion, you are everything I want, don't take this from me. What? What? In every relationship, there's two sides, of course. It's two people. At least two people. You know, triples, whatever. People do what they want. I, I respect it, because love is love. The more love there is, the more love there is to share. But when I hear that sentiment, which I understand, I've been broken up, and I think, oh, don't take it from me. That's so good. It's everything I want. But it's not about me, is it? It's about both of us. And if we both aren't getting what we need from the relationship, you, sure, you're everything I want, but it's not, not what you want? Okay, you have my blessing. Go on your way. I think that's such an important sentiment. And I've been, I've been watching things. I'm watching. Ooh, it's terrible when I watch it. I've been watching Love is Blind. Love is blind sometimes. I think that show actually has a chance of making progress and delivering real, long-lasting romantic relationships. If it was just love is blind, okay, meet, now go on your way, and it's, it's up to you now. This pressure to get married within a certain amount of time, it creates an artificial stress that doesn't need to exist for two people who have found each other in a very unusual circumstance to now live their lives together no pressure no cameras whatever i get it it's all about tv and ratings etc but i think it's important that both people get what they need from a relationship. And it's a very selfish sentiment to focus on the fact that you're you're taking this from me. No. This person didn't find what they needed and can now be free to find it where they think they need to find it. Where's the, what are the words in here? The wind's strong in my face. I st I'm still staggering through I'm closer to the ground than I ever get to you. Ooh, I love that. I'm so close to the ground, but you're so far away. See, I love poetry. Poetry's so beautiful. Even emotional and very selfish songs have their place. I'm gripping to the floor. I'm searching through the world, always looking for something more. See, maybe she isn't everything you wanted. You just needed to sing this song to get it out of your system. So it's okay to have those selfish moments afterward. Just keep them to yourself. Protest behaviors? Not welcome. <laughs> the way these cold winter nights without you next to me, it feels like 20 below. Cold turkey. We've talked about that before. It feels like 20 below. It's a cold, 
sad and lonely thing. I was spending a lot of time with my friend from high school. And one of the things he said, because I was taking a, a breakup really, really hard, is he said, maybe one of the reasons you're taking it so hard is you got closer than you've ever been before. And I said, hmm. <laughs> I'm still rolling it around up there. I got a lot of space, so. I think, I think there's a lot of truth to that. It's easy to get caught up in, even just with, uh, what is it? Baba Black Sheep, what is that? Oh, somebody I used to know. Same idea. You might come to find that it was actually the right thing that you like broke up. It doesn't change the fact that it feels so cold right now. Now, here's the other question. If it's this cold, is this another scenario where it's a dismissal avoidant that is deactivated completely? I don't know. Or it could be a narcissist with a cold shoulder. Ooh, narcissists love their cold shoulders. They keep their shoulders cold at all times. Ready to deploy. The moment someone does something that reflects poorly on them. The devaluing engages. Cold shoulders are very effective. It feels like plenty below, plenty below is... Are we talking Celsius or Fahrenheit? But, on the other hand, I really do love the sun. And any time I drive home and I'm alone and I, I've left the love of my life behind, I'll sing this. Not because we've broken up, but even the small moments when we're not together, it feels like plenty below, at least for a couple of days. I have a hard time. Even calling on the phone sometimes when it's like, oh, we're not together. I don't want to face that. I don't want to feel that. I don't want to be close to that. Distance is painful. But this is, if you ever want to look it up, the best emo song ever written. Thank you, Hidden in Plain View, for your contribution to the library of music. Comment below if you have thoughts about emo, if you have thoughts about the attachment styles of play, if you have any thoughts about the selfishness. It's okay to be selfish right after a breakup. It's it's necessary sometimes. You gotta self-care, whatever. I get that. But it's also important to understand that the other person has needs that they need to go and find their person. If, even if it isn't you. And if we really do love them, we should be supportive of that, even if it doesn't involve me specifically. I need to be supportive of their journey toward the person that m might just be what they want, everything they want. Anyway, thank you.